What is your NSFW secret that you are proud of? I was on a date with a girl probably out of my league. We eventually made it to a park and strolled onto a small bridge. There was a rushing stream below us and it was night time. So no one was there next to us. Hearing all the water below really made me have to pee. Like. Really bad. So as both of us were leaning over the rail watching the stream. I quietly unzip and whip out my willy. I pee down a support to minimize the splashing. The relief I felt was orgasmic. 8. 10 would do again. I put a miniature top hat on my erect penis and snapped a photo with the disposable camera that my platoon sergeant left in the Humvee. Um I fingered two of my sister's best friends at the same time in a field. Akimbo style. I wrote erotica and dirty fanfic in high school for money. It helped me grow as a writer and paid for my needs. I charge based on length and content. Base charge is 5. 10 pages. $811. 15. $1016. sign 13 content charges vanilla. Free BDSM. Dollar sign 2 furry. Dollar sign 3 I'm on a list now. Dollar sign. 5. Hilariously enough I was voted most likely to write a bestseller in the yearbook. The teachers were confused as to why my class laughed so hard when I was given the certificate. The edit. Formatting. My wife and I put a penny in a bank every time we have sex. I know the exact number of times I've had sex in my life, because I've only ever had sex with my wife. I have a wheat penny to two on my right leg, that I got on our anniversary. I think sixth year. We also know how many times it took to conceive our two kids, because we use nickels for one and dimes for the other. We count pennies every anniversary, and write down totals and average for the year. Some people know this story, including friends at work. But it's not something I'd say is 100% safe for work. I had a threesome where all parties involved were actually attracted to one another. In high school me and my best friend challenged a girl to a competition on who could come the most in one day using an honor system. I lost it 7 times. Buddy got to 11. And she beat us both at 26. To this day I regret not stating in the rules no vibrators allowed. The other night this guy I'm seeing, and I had such great six, that after we climaxed at the end we literally fell asleep right away. I woke up an hour later literally still on top of him. I thought that was just something that happened in crap romance novels. 5 years 3 months clean from heroin today. I once had to call into court as a witness for an altercation that happened at my work. I was placed under oath over the phone. My girlfriend at the time, blew me the entire time. Got a hand job from my GF, while her parents were driving us back from Disney World. The what is your NSFW secret woohoo my time to contribute has come. That you are proud of. I guess I'll just read the comments this time. I can dunk a girl, while wholly supporting her with my arms. I used to be overweight and pretty weak. So I'm pretty proud of this, and have no one to tell I rule without coming off like a douche. I'm really good at unhooking bras with one hand. Although weirdly it has to be with my non. Dominant hand. My bed is broken from having sex. It was already a little broken, before from something else. But recently, in the middle of fun time, my bed caved in. It was hilarious, but at the same time it scared the crap out of me. I broke a sink in a bar bathroom while having sex with my now wife back when we were in college. I rode a bike for a 40 mile journey on LSD in Tokyo during the height of cherry blossom season. I'm currently in a friends with benefits situation with one of my senior manager. It started with a drunken night out and now we duck pretty much every day. It's quite awkward in the office, because she is my boss's boss, and during our business review meetings my face goes red, when she asks me something. Ask credits like this always makes me wonder, if I just have an exceedingly boring life, or if people are just phenomenal liars. Once, I hung a poster, by standing on a Raleigh chair. I once shagged a girl who worked in post delivery. 
While I was signing the delivery she said something in my house smelled nice. I had just made coffee and wanted to offer her a cup. So I said I know. You wanna come in. Which she did. She grabbed my crotch within 10 seconds and then my brain went duck it. Let's do this I guess. She didn't get to drinking any coffee though. I fingered my GF while we were in a bus. The bus was quite full. And she was the one who dared me to try something naughty. And she almost got us caught too. My GF put a grapefruit on my one once. I have to delete this before she sees it. On our honeymoon. My wife gave me a blowjob while I was standing at the window to our hotel room, looking out over Niagara Falls, Canadian side. To this day, I'm proud to say that I've received a BJ while looking down on one of the natural wonders of the world. Edit. For those suggesting that I add the remaining natural wonders to my bucket list, I'm afraid I have to disappoint you. About with cancer and complications from a 22 hour surgery to remove the tumor has resulted in some plumbing problems, among which our inability to get an erection. So, while I have some very nice memories of sex, that's about it. There won't be any new ones anytime soon. I've been part of a threesome. So that's neat. I masturbated and finished 7 times in a day once. I duck my then girlfriend now wife on the conference room table of an old job one night. Uh, boss held a training class in there the next day. Edit. I'm so very thankful that. To my knowledge. None of my family or friends are on Reddit. My wife would be horrified to know thousands of people had seen this post. My butt plug collection. I've got 25 unique plugs. Picked up a hooker at a bar. Didn't pay. Didn't get robbed same story again with another one, except she didn't want to use a condom, so I for the first time said no to sex. IP sitting down. My ex kisses the guy she left me for with the same tongue she used to stick up my ass. It's a secret pride that makes me happy. Suck my own stick. I've had sex with a few pornsters. A couple of them do escorting at a relatively acceptable price and a few years ago I decided to indulge I don't know how to describe it. I best experience in my entire life. They literally made me discover a new level of pleasure in sex. I'm a pretty vanilla guy. Didn't do anything out of the ordinary with them. But holy crap this is something I obviously won't talk about in public, but it rocked my life in so many ways. An incredible experience for sure. Summer 1998 I had two FWB girlfriends who knew about each other and didn't care. D Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get them both in bed at the same time. Best summer of my life. It's good to have a rep for keeping your mouth shut in a tourist town. I used to have bulimia. And after years of self-induced vomiting. Have no gag reflex whatsoever. Seriously. When I get with a guy and he finds that out. The reaction is priceless. Got my sticks up dry by a girl within 10 minutes of ducking meeting her I don't know how I did it. No, but I've only told one friend. Would like to tell more people. Friends but idk if they'd believe something so random. Edit. Lol I didn't even get her name or number. This happened recently and I'm still kicking myself for it lmao. I once made my college girlfriend scream so much and so loud during an orgasm that her downstairs neighbor. A kind. Elderly woman. Came upstairs. Rapped on the door. And insisted that. If she didn't hear my GF's voice immediately. She was gonna call the cops. We both lay in bed. Laughing as my GF reassured her. That she was quite well. Thank you. After that. She tended to cram a pillow. Or stuffed animal in her mouth. To muffle the sound effects. Lol. My first blowjob was from two girls at the same time. I think I set the bar a little too high a little too early. And had an awakening that I needed to live for me. Proceeded to engage in a week long sex fest at an adult club. I sucked my husband off on camera for extra income. I nutted in no nut November. A few times a year. I translate hentai jap. Eng so that other people can enjoy the story too. I once fisted two guys at the same time. It's not even a turn on for me. 
but I was drunk as duck, and after a night out a friend, asked me to go to the sex dungeon. I was wandering around the rooms, and stumbled on two guys with their asses in the air, when in Rome. A. My high school girlfriend cheated on me. The night everything came to light everyone hated her for it. Ended up sleeping with her sister. And her two best friends. Separately. Over the course of about 12 hours the next day. In high school. My girlfriend blew me in her church's storage room in front of a big statue of Jesus. The Lord was kind that day. I have achieved the male dream of a FFFM foursome. However. It was on a twin bed in a hotel. Which meant that the logistics were intensely complicated. And I ended up falling on the floor. Two of the women were bisexual and dating one another. And they were so busy with my wife it was nearly 30 seconds before anyone realized I had disappeared. A perfect combination of I'm a god and I'm a complete jackass. I'm not only really good at giving blowjobs, but I really enjoy it as well. I love pleasing my partner. I can also orgasm without even touching myself, and I have a very high sex drive. That I'd be happy to have sex. Give blowjobs every single day. My girlfriend and I like to have occasional three ways with various girls. So much fun. Edit. Our favorite thing is for her to put on a strap on, and we spit roast them and high five. Uh, cracks all three of us up every time. I turned my lesbian friend a few times. In her words she's attracted to girls and John. Nothing like hearing you're the first guy to give me an orgasm in over a decade to boost the old self. It's team. Bonus fact. She has perfect tits. No real reason to add that. No real reason to leave it out. Edit. I know what bisexual is. And I'm not forcing my own definition of this girl's sexuality on her. All you social justice warriors can put your little boners away. By my friend's own definition. She is super duper gay. I used to give my ex orgasms so hard that she would pass out for up to 2 minutes or so mid. Coetus Feldgidman. I once fingered a chick on the beach without even talking to her. I just looked at her. She sort of nodded. We started kissing. I fingered her. She grabbed my cook and started rubbing. Then we parted ways after 3 minutes or so. If you are out there unidentified beach girl from 1996, I thank you. Removed. I sometimes turn up to work high as crap. It's such a chill place to work I don't think they notice. Mind as long as I get my work done.